10,000 years ago, there was a province in ancient China called the Wei province. And in this province, there lived a girl named Hua Mulan. And Hua Mulan's father served for the Wei province. He served in the army. And when Hua, Hua Mulan was young, he taught her how to fight. He taught her martial arts. He taught her how to ride horses so that one day she can protect herself. And then when bullies fought with her friends, she fought them back. And her father got so mad. You are a girl. You will need to get married one day. You need to be more like a girl. If you want to fight, be a man in your next life. And 15 years later, the Rurin people came in to attack the Wei province. The emperor requested men from all over the province to serve for the, for the emperor and to protect their families. So each family had to send one man to serve in the army. But Huang Mulan's dad was really sick. As he was accepting this from the emperor, he was coughing. Huang Mulan cannot see his dad go to the army. He knew that, she knew that if he were to go to the army, he would not live. So then one night, Huang Mulan, as quietly as she could, took his and took her horse and she left the village to join the army. And when she came to the army, she did not realize how, how difficult it was. It, she did not imagine how it would be like. The rules are very strict. If you leave the army with no reason, death. If you bring a woman to the army, death. And also Milan realized that she was too much like a girl. She needed to be more like a man. So she talked less. Mulan talked in a deeper voice. And Mulan squinted her eyes. And when she trained with the, with the army, the army was in rows and columns. And when she trained with them, she could, she was stronger than them. She was training longer than them. She was so surprised that how could she do this? How can she as a woman be better than them as a man? And she started to realize that she is better than some of the men in the army. And after training for a very, very long day, she snuck out of the camp so that she could wash herself down, praying that no one could see her. Because if anyone finds out who she really is, she'll be dead. Her family will be dead. And she had nightmares every single day and pray that no one will ever find her. Then another nightmare happened. The ruined army came to attack the camp. And so the way army prepared, they grabbed their swords, they grabbed their shield, and then they went around the base so that the ruined army could not come in. And as the ruined army came in, they were fighting shields, attacking swords, attacking shields, and bam, bam, bam. And Mulan realized that she needed to do something different. If we keep going like this, our army will die. There's no way that we could survive this. And so she left the battlefield. She grabbed her horse, and she grabbed her sword, and she went towards the ruin general. And anyone who got in her way, she killed them. 
Because as soon as she got to the general, if she is able to kill the general, then she is able to get the army to retreat and leave. And so she went and went and went. And then when she saw the general, she kicked him down. And then she hesitated. She wanted to kill him, but she paused. She, she was a little scared. But then the Wei general yelled at her, kill him, cut off his head right now. And then with that, she sliced off his head. And then the ruined army retreated. Then year after year, Mulan got promoted more and more for her battle tactics and leadership. And after 12 years, she was made commander of the Wei army. But she turned it down. She rejected the emperor's request. Why? After 12 years of serving the army, she, she wanted to take care of her father. And also, she wanted to be honest with the emperor. Emperor, I am a woman. Can you please forgive me? No problem. But men should look up, look up to you because you did great. All men should be like you. And so with that, Mulan returned home. She defended her province and her family. And now she can finally take care of her father. And this is how we all